Hello, Namaskar. Welcome back. The fourth lecture on the same case of insurance company, large sample tests of significance of single mean. As we know that this is case of two deltas. Now this time we are with the method of probability value or popularly known as p-value or it is also known as observed significance level. Actually when we use we even don't need the critical value. So let's remove it. What is p-value and what is the process? The process is same up to calculation of the test statistic or observed value of test statistic. Then we have to calculate p-value. What is the formula of p-value? It is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is nothing. It is the say half area under the normal curve minus normal area for z calculated. So for this calculated value or observed value of z, we have to treat this at z score of normal distribution and have to find the area for this value of z. Then subtract the area found from 0.5. The remaining is p-value. What is to be done with the p-value? We need to compare this p-value with alpha or alpha by 2. If it is two tail test, we have to compare it with alpha by 2. If it is one tail test, we have to compare it with alpha. Here the method of conclusion or way of conclusion is exactly opposite to the comparison of observed value and critical value of test statistic. In that case, if calculated value of Z is greater than critical value, we reject normal hypothesis. In this case, if P value is less than alpha by 2 in case of 2 tail test or alpha in case of 1 tail test, then we reject the null hypothesis. Yes, let's calculate P for this. Since Z is very large here. If you go through the table of area under normal curve, normally the area for the values of Z up to 6 or 6.5 or maybe 7 is given. For the value of Z as large as 18 or so, nothing is given in the table. So let's take the highest Z given in the table and in the table with me it is 6.5. So I am going to take the value of Z, sorry 6 and this is 0.499999. There are too many nines. We are going to take only three nines or four decimal values since in all the tables the four decimal values of the area are given. So, P value comes to 0 0.0001. Now, P value and in case of two tail test alpha by 2, P value is 0 0.0001 and value of alpha by 2 in our case is 0 0.005. 0. It is compare, something like comparison between 1 and 50. That means P value is less than the alpha by 2. Hence, also we reject the null hypothesis. And the conclusion will be the average weight is now not 59 kg. Okay. Less than or greater than is not our subject at this time because this is two tail test. Why it is two tail test that I have discussed more than once in any of the previous three lectures on this particular case. But the important thing is what is this exactly P value or probability value? It is actually probability of the say sample mean or mean being as large as this 
mean value of at least this. P value shows probability of that phenomena. But those who are just beginners in case of testing of hypothesis or Z test whatever. For them I first suggest that first of all try to learn and understand just how to calculate p value and how to arrive at the conclusion. If you understand these things clearly then you will be able to understand everything else about p value etc. So no need to hurry to know everything. First try to accept the concept, try to learn the calculations and arrive at the conclusion. So this is p method, a p value method and in the last four lectures we discussed four different methods of arriving at the conclusion in case of test of hypothesis. All the four methods can be used in case of any. Now if you ask me which method I prefer or <coughs> I found, find most suitable. The method of comparing observed value of the test statistic and critical value is the best according to me. Just I advise to use sign of modulus whenever you get the negative value of test statistic. My favorite method is comparison of observed value and critical value of test statistic. As a student I am telling this not as a teacher. Whenever it is it has been said left upon me to use the method I have always used comparison of critical value and calculated value of test statistic method. Because straight away we can perform the <coughs> Test of hypothesis easily as a student whenever we face such kind of problems or questions in examination. But that is not necessary that for you people also the same method is favorite. If you need to use a particular method then what? That's why we need to use all the four methods <coughs> and whenever it is left upon us we can use the method of our choice. So never go for hard comparison that particular method is my favorite so I will use that only. No. I also use any of four. But whenever it is left upon me I prefer to use the method of comparison between critical view and observed value of test statistic. That's it. Thank you.